Okay, um, I decided I was done with that place for now. I may go back after I do this, but we'll just see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, we have this serpent armlet. It's 20,000 gold, and we just so happen to have 38,000 gold, so we'll buy that. We'll buy the breastplate. And, um, yeah, we got a few new items. Oh. Wow. You didn't just buy all the merchandise in my shop, did you? We pretty much did. I always keep tabs on who buys what, so there's no mistake about it. <laughs> Thanks for aiding my ambition to start up Rose Trading Company. Here's some compensation for your efforts. <laughs> Try showing it to Chloa. <laughs> Rose's influence. And keep coming back here, Okay. Actually, no, because she doesn't have anything new from that point on. We just completely bought out her stock it, of it's, stuff. This memo is... Oh, I don't understand. Yeah, life isn't fair. I wonder if she's really serious. Well, I suppose I have no choice. If there's anything you don't need, I'll take it off your hands for a good price. Oh, boy. So pretty much now this guy will, uh... I don't know if he sells stuff for any less, but he'll buy stuff for more. Is what I'm guessing. So we got this, which protects from poison. This, which protects from slow curse and confusion. And this, which just cures all of normal effects. I'm actually not gonna sell anything. What we can do is buy one of these, but... I'd rather not. I don't know. I don't know, I just don't feel like it at the moment. Um, let's go down here, why not? Even just off the coast of these islands, the current's still pretty fast with the vortex and all. You can't be wandering too far from here, even by ship. Can't even get as far as Quatero or Zenith without trouble. Aha! I remember hearing something about somebody sitting on a box and fishing. Probably wasn't here though. And there was this guy and he was sitting on a box and he, he sat there and fished. Fished for many hours. Fished until his eyes fell out. Yep. Um. So, oh, we still haven't done this. Let's do this. Alright, so... I'm gonna get rid of this one. That'll protect us against the poison. And now, we equip the Galba armor, and we kick some butt. See? Now we have a cape. Look at me, world, I have a cape. I'm cool. Whoosh. I wear a cape! Look at me! In a plane engine. Alright, why not? Let's just upgrade the hell out of this sword. I love this sword. It kicks major booty. And we are already out of ammo. Yeah. Okay, well, um. I don't know if I want to do much more grinding because I already feel like we're sufficiently over leveled enough to take down the uh, next dungeon. So we will do just that. <clears throat> so, this has only been two recording sessions and I've gotten quite a bit done. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't even know uh, exactly how many dungeons there are in this game. I know the next one that we have is in the underground path, and then I think we will at one point have to do the cavern. Then there's this area which was blocked off right in the forest near the beginning of the game. Uh, after that, I think uh, it just kind of introduces the antagonist, the main antagonist, and uh, I think there are two dungeons after that, if you want to call them dungeons. But yeah. 
relatively basic stuff. We're doing 231 damage to these guys, that's nuts. 253! Oh boy! Ow. You things are annoying. I'm leaving! Oh, another thing that's interesting about this game. Um, I think the Japanese version actually had these anime cutscenes for the intro and all that. I don't know exactly what the deal was with that, but it was some interesting stuff. I actually got the Japanese intro recorded. It's not really an intro so much as just more of a trailer sort of thing, I guess, but... Yeah, I just recorded that, and I think after the LP is done, I'll show that off for you. These are the Ruins of Amnesia. The Ruins of Amnesia are pretty cool, and they have a few nice treasures in them. And, um, if you saw back there, the Wing of Alma started glowing. We can now go to another level of the Alma's Trials thing, but we haven't even done one level of it, so... Not a whole lot we can do there at the moment. Well, we can do a whole lot there. I'm just lazy, and so I won't. You see how it works. Ah, I just fell straight into a pit. But yeah, if you look at how much damage we're doing, we're just way overpowered at this point. I'm pretty sure that we'll kill most of the enemies in here with one swipe. And they'll do maybe like three damage to us. So, yeah, saying that we're a bit over leveled would be an understatement. But I kind of like it this way. Um, it doesn't quite make the game challenging, but it makes a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll say that much. Oh, and there's a uh, white chest up there. Uh, those usually hold rare stuff in them, so we want to get those. I think we have to fall from a certain area in order to get that one, though, so for now, we shall just have to move on to the next room. There are quite a few of those in this place, though, so you want to keep your eyes open. These bouncing guys are just kind of annoying. Whenever they touch down, they make a big shockwave. Small shockwave. It's still a shockwave. Hey, what's that? Treasure! Herb. Not great, but whatever, I'll take it. I missed that thing on my last run. Uh, you can come back to any dungeon anytime, as far as I remember. There is one that you can't come back to, but uh, I'll make sure that I get everything in there before I leave that area. There's this escort mission at that point, which is really annoying. Because the people you're escorting die really easy. Oh, and I'm gonna have to split this in two parts because, uh... Or maybe I'll just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Either way, let's just keep on moving. Kill some turrets, kill some guys with blades on their arms. I don't know why I'm bothering going for the MLS because it's not extremely useful. How much they're giving us anyways. But you know. Let's see what's this way. About this, this way. Downward staircase. Hooray. Ow. Oh, I remember these guys. They're a pain. Oh, there. You see, they're, they're only vulnerable to your attacks at a certain time, but I can never really get what exactly that time is, so... Bit of a confusing thing. 
Yeah, I missed quite a few things on my first playthrough. Um, like, just a lot of random treasures. I missed a few mini-bosses that I should've gotten. All that stuff. I really have no idea how you're supposed to get this guy. You know, I don't really know when he's open. See? Just randomly decides, oh, I'll take damage now. And then he does. I usually just ignore these guys, which is what I will do now. I've lost my patience with you. And, uh, I'm gonna stop the video here. Or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here.